Hi, Jessica and Christina. Rob Perlman from Collect Space. Um, uh, start with you, Christina. Uh, on Friday, as your spacewalk got underway, we reported that a component of your spacesuit matched by serial number, a component that was worn by Kathy Sullivan 35 years ago during her history making EVA. Uh, she reacted to the news on social media saying that, Christina, you wore it well. So I'd ask if you would react to that, and what does it mean to you to share that extra little connection to um, spacewalk history? Wow, that's very overwhelming, and I was not aware of that. It is an honor to um, have a matching component, something that was worn on that historic moment when Catherine Sullivan was the first U.S. woman to do a spacewalk back in 1984. And the fact that she had those kind words to say for us and you know what we were doing last Friday is just an incredible honor. Um, Catherine Sullivan also happens to be a NOAA um, employee or, you know, has contributed to NOAA just like I did. And I was also fortunate enough to receive a congratulatory phone call from her when I was accepted into the astronaut corps. So it's really neat to see those connections continue. I will say that those that paved the way for us to be where we are today, we just have an, just the utmost appreciation for them. And I think we just pay homage to the fact that they allowed us to do what we do today and to achieve the dreams that we have. And for Jessica, um, setting aside the larger history for a moment, this was personal history, your first EVA. Uh, how did you find the experience and how did you celebrate afterwards? It was really an incredible experience and it's difficult to put it into words, the mixture of emotions and feelings that you have when you're going out the door the first time. You know, we've been training, Christina and I have both been training together for over six years now, and a lot of the spacewalk training that we do is a major component of that training on the ground. So we feel very comfortable and familiar with the suits, with the tools, with all the interfaces that we know how to use, and you really develop this muscle memory and what it's like to work in the suit, but all of that is based underwater in the neutral buoyancy lab back in Houston. So it's a totally different feeling suddenly when you're up here at the same suit, the same tools, but of course we're weightless for the first time. And so the interesting part is that some of the challenges we have underwater in the pool that make it difficult in the pool are actually opposite challenges that we have here in space. You don't have the drag of the water, but of course it's easy to get going, it's hard to stop. So your brain has to try to interpret all these things from the way that you've been training it for so long. But I will never forget that moment coming out the hatch and looking down and seeing just my boots and the earth below and it was such a spectacular and beautiful sight it's re it was really quite overwhelming and we went out and did the job that we had to do and we're lucky enough to have some time to enjoy the view as well